I'm Flipper. Welcome to my garage. You know, someone told me I should do one of those unboxing videos. Apparently they're quite popular. Apparently what people do is they'll go out and they'll buy something and they'll bring it home and then they record themselves opening it. Sounds easy enough, so yeah, they're popular. I might as well give it a try. So I decided I would get something not quite, you know, entry level. So I went to Harbor Freight, picked something up, and uh, we'll open it up and, and see what I got. And it's kind of like Christmas, except for I bought it for me. There's no socks. It's from Harbor Freight, so pretty much the same disappointment. So I'll be honest, I have no clue what I'm doing. But this is what I got. It is a Pittsburgh one ton foldable shop crane. Get them from Harbor Freight for about $230, $240. And for reasons that are completely beyond me, I thought that this would be a suitable candidate to lift a $10,000 late model motor out of the car. Horrible idea, but this is what I've got. So let's see what we what we got inside. <laughs> There's bubble wrap. Okay, we got parts. Uh, there's uh, owner's manual, safety instructions, and assembly. Yeah, we're definitely not going to read that. Well, here. I'll bring you in and have you take a look. All right, so this is what we've got. Uh, you can see kind of the base thing there. There's, I don't know what this is. Let's take a look. This is, it's empty. All right, there's more stuff and more bubble wrap. I'm guessing that's hardware. So we're gonna get this thing all opened up, lay it out for you to see, and We'll start putting this thing together. All right, to get all this out, I'm gonna enlist the help of, well, my right hand man, I guess. Come on in here, Bryce, give me a hand. So like I said, we got a lot of bubble wrap. We pulled a couple pieces out. This is the hardware that came with. Lots of miscellaneous nuts and bolts and pins and doodabs and, well, we already threw the instructions out, so. Perfect. Right. Like I said, more bubble wrap. What's this guy? Mm, let's find out. I'm gonna say the jack thingy. The jack thingy. Yeah, the thingy. Is that the technical term? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Yeah, jack thingy. Okay. And we got a a beam thing right here. I think that goes in there somewhere. I couldn't think of these are. So, I don't know. Let's take a look. I give them an A for packaging. Because there's a lot of it. No, they're... They're dented. That's what they are. Uh, I don't know, but they don't have any bowls, so... Great! Yeah, remember that whole throwing the instructions out? I don't know if this is. This is the main razor guy thingy. That goes with that. And these are the legs. We got six wheels. That's good. Okay, had to get some tools here. The smaller bolts in this little assortment is 14 millimeters. The larger bolts are adjustable. I think they're like a 20 millimeter, 21 millimeter. I don't have that, so crescent wrench it is. Now we've got these casters, and what I find interesting is all of them are swivels. So this whole thing can go side to side and not just front to, to back. 
So that could be fun. Um, it looks like those are mounting holes there and there for the casters. We'll save these two locking guys for the back here. This is the back of the horse. And, uh, well, that's as good a spot to start as any, so. Here, what we need to do is grab some of these little bolts and just start putting stuff together. quality, you know, joke around about the Harbor Freight stuff, but just trying to assemble this and with a screwdriver, I already stripped out one of these screws. Well, actually the, the nut, see right there, pieces of the, the nut still stuck in the thread. So, well, you definitely get what you pay for. I'm going to have to find some different hardware and I'm just getting started. So while we're on the topic of quality, this is the casters that they come with. As you can see, the uh, the finish on them kind of leaves something to be desired. But this, I mean, this is just awesome. This is stellar. Watch this guy. Yeah! That's not going to affect the performance of it at all. Perfect. All right, as you can see, We've got the main, um, well, this part of it assembled. Bryce has, I don't know, I think maybe he went and took a nap. Assembling this wasn't too crazy, just uh, a couple of bolts and flat, nuts and flat washers. The scary part about it is your, your pivot points, which are here and down here and, and up here, you know, parts that are supposed to move freely and allow it to do its thing. They don't have any type of like nylock or even lock washers. So you have two options. You either tighten it down to a point that it squeezes together and no longer moves and it's bolted solid, or you don't tighten them quite so far and you're pretty much guaranteed that all of these nuts are gonna back themselves off in the middle of using it, probably when you have the engine about yay high off the ground. The other thing about this, Talking about the hardware, I showed you a little earlier, we already stripped out one of the nuts using a screwdriver on it. Your best bet is to take that hardware pack that came with this thing and throw it away, along with the instructions, which happen to be laying on the floor right over there. But we'll gloss over that. See, this is the bolt that came on my old engine hoist that I bent badly. This is a three quarter inch grade eight bolt. This thing has whatever the metric equivalent of a nine sixteenths no grade bolt. And that's the biggest ones on it. So again, my suggestion, throw the pack out, immediately get some new hardware. So all we got left now is to put our legs on. They're held on with these little pins like this. You got two pins, one here, that's your pivot point, one here, and that locks the, the leg down so it doesn't flop around because otherwise this wouldn't work very well, would it? The weird thing about it is these legs have these, these nice little collars that come with them. I'll show you right here. And they just they slide on and they, they free flow over your leg like that. So they're pretty much guaranteed to get tangled up on everything underneath the car. And that'll just you know, add to the fun factor. So we'll throw these on, and we'll throw our, uh, the rest of our little bean doodad dealie. That's also held on by a pin. And that's it. That's our shop crane, engine hoist, whatever you want to call it. Well, I guess time for some final thoughts on it.
Yes, it comes with packaging. However, it'd be nice if they maybe split it up into two boxes instead of one. It's uh, <laughs> it's a little difficult to get out of the back of your truck if you're doing it by yourself. Honestly, it's uh, it's not a bad looking setup. Honestly, the black and red looks nice as long as the paint lasts. And when it folds up, it. Uh, isn't too bad. I mean, from the back right here all the way to the front, it's less than 30 inches. And if you're like me, and you're short on garage space, that's a, a big plus. Don't worry about that. A few drawbacks, like I said, the nuts and bolts right here. You really could go with a lock washer here, because you're just gonna pinch on this. On top of that, you already got a bind right here where this weld is on both sides. That's that's a hang-up point on it, and I noticed it already just letting it down and raising it up. Yes! Well, Aside from the obvious faults with the hardware and the egg-shaped wheels, a couple of other little things that uh, kind of bug me about it. For one, your throw between your, your hydraulic jack and your lift point, I mean, it's less than 30 inches fully extended. That doesn't give you a whole lot of room to maneuver. Uh, on top of that, I've already managed to chip a bunch of the paint off of it, so it's guaranteed to rust relatively quickly, unless you, you've got it temperature controlled. Will it work? Yeah, I'm sure it'll get the job done. And I'm sure there's people out there that have had no problems with these things, um, just mildly using them. But, you know, to me, it's kind of like cuddling with an alligator. I get a funny feeling sooner or later, it's gonna bite me. Now, that's all I have for this one. Appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of these goofy little unboxing videos. I, I, I don't know. Let me know. In the meantime, my name's Slipper. Thanks for stopping by.